Hi, my name's Ian and welcome to the channel if you've not been here before and if you have been here before then welcome back. This is part six of the two-week Canary and cruise that we went on back in December. In this particular video we visit Las Palmas on the island of Gran Canaria. Now we visited Gran Canaria twice during the cruise that we were on and I didn't shoot that much video on the first week and also didn't shoot a hell of a lot of video on the second week either that we were there. So what I've done is I've combined the two lots of footage together. So as you'll see in the video, it'll say part one, which was shot on the 12th of December and part two, which was then shot on the 19th of December as well. Before the video starts, really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe to the channel as well as hitting that notification button for further videos. So let's sit back, enjoy the sunshine and go to Gran Canaria. She's done that before, ain't she? Good morning and welcome to Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. It's a beautiful coastline this. So Leanne, what do you think of Gran Canaria? Beautiful. Oh, it's like you. Can't answer me. We just walked down to the end of one of the beaches and it's a surface paradise. The weather down here today is absolutely glorious, it's about 25 degrees, not bad for the 12th of December. Apparently this statue, I think, is Alfredo Kraus. I had to come this side of it because of the sun glaring through the side. There you are, we've got Rudolph the cow. This is an area here where they do sand sculptures. Not quite sure why it's being picked up on the camera. So that's really interesting. What livestock is it? Could be donkeys. Oh, oh, I can just make it out. Yeah? That one's named Oti. Is it? Yeah, Donkey Oti. Geese. And that's so Could be could be a work, it could be a monk. Amazing, this is all made out of sand.
Hodges is a bit overexposed, it's really bright today. Going around to the more glamorous part of, of the place, <laughs> the industrial area. Just uh, walking down, back down towards the ship now, which you've got to see in the distance. It's got up to about 30 degrees now, so it's actually quite warm. So we're heading back for lunch. Police boats, I think that is. Yeah, there they are, yeah. yeah. A couple of tall ships in. Yeah, back at the ship now. Just thought I'd give you a bit of a view around the harbour. Oh, the port's more important. It's a, like a warship or maybe a uh, port, it's not like Coast Guard. I'm not sure if there's ships where they practice a sort of doing, you know, learn how these ships work and that. There's lots of young people on here at the moment, they're prepping vegetables and stuff like that for a trip away. But, uh, we saw them earlier on, running up and down the rigging. So uh, whether it's a practice thing, you know, you, how do you learn to be, so you do these things, I'm not quite sure. It's a, so it's a very impressive boat. It's called the Stad Amsterdam. These trees are really unusual. Leanne cannot walk past the cafe without buying a cake. Oh, good morning. Good morning. You, you join us in Las Palmas, Gran Canaria, which is the last day of our cruise, and we're stood in the sea, and it's quite cold. We're getting well, warmer. We're getting warmer. Okay. It's about 27 degrees. Uh, it's the 19th of December. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, I've just splashed all the way up to the, uh, the nether region. <laughs> but, yeah, we're complaining. No. I'll tell you something about this, see, I'm, I've got some pull on it. Yeah. They are selfie. Camera's picking up, it's got a few crabs walking around the rocks. In fact, uh, we're doing a selfie, darling. Oh, wave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the crabs are just a bit further on to the left of where our shadow is. But it's quite bright there, so the camera might not be picking it up properly. Hi. 
sure we can hear me over the waves, but I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but there's absolutely loads and loads of crabs just down there. And they're still clear, yeah, and they're still clear. And they're still clear, though, they're still clear, yeah. Yeah, there's loads more down here as well. Just sort of towards where my fingers, where my fingers pointed there. down there, there's loads. <laughs> and then, uh, sort of over there, there's loads of crabs. Absolutely beautiful down this part. It's quite weird here, you think that the tide's sort of going out and there's nothing in the way of waves and all of a sudden there's a big one just comes in and splashes up. It's like a little mini waterfall that when it comes back down. what amazes me about these places you just turn a corner and the next thing you know you just got lovely rocks and stuff like that just don't know what's around the next bend which is why we sometimes carry on walking for miles and miles and miles just to see what's around the next bend <laughs> and the next bend sometimes it's like the wife it drives you around the bend <laughs> well we seem to be doing many selfies of ourselves today so it's just waving down there there you are that's selfie this place is lovely around here. As I said earlier a minute ago, you turn a corner and you just see something more. And uh, what's really novel is this down here. And obviously somebody lives in this little place here and uh, they got a little fishing boat just hanging off the end there, ready to go. But there's crabs absolutely everywhere around here. I've never seen so many crabs in a really bright, vibrant red colour. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. No. I suspect that's the bit that's fallen off. Yeah, it looks like there's a walkway that was there originally, which has disappeared. So, uh, again, just walk around another corner and. Uh, I bet you there, yeah. Well, the walkway used to go this way and it's just disappeared. So, it's the road to nowhere now. That rock down there is absolutely crawling with crabs. That's what she said. Another selfie. Hello. The colour of that water is phenomenal. I think quite like the sound of the ocean. Just walked a bit further around now, sort of come to the end of the rocky outcrops and uh, what looks like another beach and uh, more surface out there as well. Well, you think you come to the end of the rocks and then we, uh, we found this. Loads and loads of camper vans over there, so I su suspect it's like a camp like a, a surfer's paradise. You can maybe camp down here overnight, wait for the surf to come. I was going to say the tide's uh, going out now, so the, the the surf over in the distance is dissipating. Still pretty good though. I must say, looking around here, there's a lot of erosion going on, a lot of uh, rock falling away. It's, uh, 
suppose that's the way of the world at the moment. Rising sea levels and uh, more winds, etc. It's bound to happen. Oh, we've just found our new property. We're going to buy it. Not sure we're going to get any insurance on it, as it might fall into the sea within the next year or two.